Hello friends, here I am with another important short trick. This time we are going to calculate the average speed using the direct formula without using the traditional approach. In the traditional approach you will find a lot of steps and uh, that consumes time but if you are aware of the short trick then this is going to consume just 5 to 7 seconds only. So for this video, I am taking up the case when the distances travelled are equal. Like you have two points A and B and there is exactly the midpoint C. Now from A to C, the distance travelled is at suppose x kilometer per hour and the distance from C to B, this is travelled at y kilometer per hour. So the distances are equal. So whenever the distances travelled are equal and they are covered with unequal speeds then the problem is very very easy to crack. You need to find the average speed of the distance, total distance travelled. Now how, how you find the average speed in case of two distances and then we will come to the uh, case when we have to consider three equal distances. So in case of two di uh, distances, you can find the average speed directly by using the relationship 2xy upon x plus y. Now you can see this relationship 2xy upon x plus y that much kmth this will be the answer for finding the average speed of uh, the, the two distances covered with unequal speeds. Very easy, right? But when we talk of three distances, three equal distances, then the problem seems a little bit complicated. If I show you the traditional method, a lot of time will be consumed. But my focus is basically on three distances. I'll take up one question here just to know uh, uh, whether this formula is correct or not. So suppose the first part of the journey is covered at a speed of 20 kmth and the second part is covered with a speed of 30 kmth. Now you need to find the average speed in this case. So the average speed will be directly double of the product of 20 and 30 divided by sum of 20 and 30 that is 50. So obviously 1 0 gets cancelled, 5 cancels 6 times and here you have 6 into 2, 12 into 2, 24 km per hour is your direct answer. Now this will consume only 2 to 3 seconds, uh, even you don't need a pen and paper for solving these type of questions of average speed. Let's talk of 3 equal distances now. Now suppose you have the first distance then the second distance and then the third distance and all the three distances are equal and now these three distances are, are covered with unequal speeds. So suppose here the distance, uh, first distance is covered with x kilometer per hour speed, second with y kilometer per hour speed and third with z kilometer per hour speed. Now I need to derive a relationship just like this find, to find the average speed. Now the three distances in this case, suppose you consider the three distances as anything, uh, I can consider it as uh, say uh, P, okay P, P and P. These are the three equal distances. Now I am trying to derive the shortcut because understanding of that shortcut will enable you to remember it very easily. So now first part of the derivation time taken for the first part. So time taken to cover distance p at the rate of x kilometer per hour. Now what is the formula for time? Time is distance upon speed. Distance here is p and speed is x. Likewise time taken to cover distance p at the rate of y kilometer per hour will be p upon y and finally time taken to cover distance p at the rate of 
z kilometer per hour will be p upon z so the three times i have already found out using the formula time is equal to distance upon speed so this coupled with now uh, the total time so i need to find the distance traveled in time i'm talking of total time to cover the entire distance p upon x plus p upon y plus p upon z this much time how much distance is traveled obviously the distance traveled is from this to this that is 3p so this much distance is traveled and now average speed can be found out by using the relationship total distance 3p divided by the total time and the total time is p upon x plus p upon y plus p upon z now this is the traditional approach which the students are using in competitions to find the average speed now if you simplify this you will have 3p upon and here we have p common and in the bracket if you take x y z as the lcm so this will be x means y z y means x z and z means x y and p will be cancelled out thereby giving you the average speed as this x y z goes in the numerator 3 x y z upon x y plus y z plus z x now this is the direct formula for average speed for three equal distances covered with unequal speeds i want you to remember for solving the problems of average speed very very quickly obviously when the distances are different then you have to use the traditional approach and that becomes a little bit difficult so let's take up one problem and understand how we can apply this concept to um, you know save time in the competitions so let me just rub this two distances concept here very easy concept for, uh, for you and now we will have a question based on the average speed in case of three equal distances now one third of a journey is covered with speed now this is the first speed which will be given to you this is 40 kmph second other one third with 30 km per hour and final one third with 15 km per hour now see one third of a journey means we are talking of equal parts that is equal distances so the first one third is covered with a speed of 40 km per hour second one third with 30 km per hour and the third one with 15 km per hour and now we need to find the average speed for entire distance entire journey so see if you make use of traditional approach you will assume that the distance that is one third of uh, the total distance uh, if you assume the total distance as x then entire distance will be divided into three parts x upon 3 x upon 3 x upon 3 and ultimately you are going to cancel out that x from the equation and get to the same shortcut so let's use the same shortcut directly to find the average speed Now what is the average speed three times the product of the three speeds divided by the sum of the products in pairs so three times 40 30 and 15 and we have to divide it by just make pairs of these three 40 into 30 plus 
थर्टी इंटू फिफ्टीन प्लस फोर्टी इंटू फिफ्टीन सो दिस इज थ्री टाइम्स सो आई विल नॉट कैलकुलेट दिस फर्स्ट बिकॉज मे बी दे विल गेट कैंसिल विद डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस इज फोर्टी इंटू थर्टी इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड प्लस फिफ्टीन थ्री फोर्टी फाइव सो फोर फिफ्टी एंड फिफ्टीन फोर दिक्सटी मीन सिक्स हंड्रेड so this will come out to be थ्री into फोर्टी into थर्टी into फिफ्टीन upon so this is ट्वेल्व एटीन ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी सो वन जीरो गेट्स कैंसिल्ड डायरेक्टली यू कैन कैंसिल इट फ्रॉम एनी वेयर एंड नाउ फिफ्टीन इंटू फिफ्टीन इज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सो हियर यू हैव ए फिफ्टीन एंड फिफ्टीन कैंसिल्स एग्जैक्टली टू टाइम्स सो यू कैन सी दैट All the uh, calculation is done now, and here you have the answer: three into four, twelve is a twenty-four kilometer per hour will be the average speed for the entire journey. So, friends, how much time you are going to take to solve it through this method? I think less than say seven eight seconds, and students who have achieved that speed they clear the entrance examinations very very comfortably so very important video for all those who are preparing for quantitative aptitude portion of railways and banking exams and if you do like it share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos